what are we doing today as you can tell by the title we are finally dyeing this hair i know the color i'm going for i just don't know what to call it as you can see this is not our first rodeo i've dyed my hair before browns and light browns are a very safe color anytime you travel outside of that it's scurry there's so many versions of red too i was low-key getting stressed out I'm going to do a very, very quick rundown of all the stuff I bought. We have all of our high color. I got four boxes, one red, one magneta, one magneta, one red. A cap, because I just needed some more caps for my head, but that's going to be for the processing. And then some gloves, because yes. 40 volume developer, a mixing bowl, of course. And I like this one because it has measurements, so I can measure my developer before I put it in. The goal is to only get hair dye on my hair not anywhere else let's just start right and as you can tell i'm two-toned so in my head i'm like maybe i should do my roots first because roots die quicker and i kind of want this to get more red because i'm nervous i'm nervous these reds aren't gonna match up does that make sense probably should have thought of this before we're just gonna do this and if it turns out bad it turns out bad exactly what I said I wasn't gonna do I just went for it oh my first trip on the t okay that's let me slow myself down okay first section kind of done I know I'm gonna have to go back over this I just want to get it all in initially because I want to be red all over I don't want it to be splotchy that's my biggest fear my hair is like girl we ain't never done this before what's going on <laughs> My curls are probably literally like, girl, again, they need to just be lucky we're not doing a big chop because I really could. <laughs> on this now i did pretty decent with not getting the hair dye on anything other than my towels but like somehow i managed to get it all over my hands so i'll leave this in for about 30 minutes let it sit and that was just two boxes y'all two boxes and this is what's left i still have a whole other two boxes so now i'm gonna go in and dye my um hair extensions Eek! And we'll be back. And then I'll be a redhead. <laughs> you will now address me as Lindsay Lohan. My hair is red. She red, red. We did it. We did the thing. What are our thoughts? I want to show you guys it in its natural state. I was actually surprised. If you saw my hair before, it was two-toned. So I had already dyed the top of it. It was like a lighter brown. And then my roots had grown in black. So I was thinking it was going to die uneven and I just went for it, but surprisingly it died so even. Right now, I don't know, it's a little bit of a jump scare for me. I was not expecting it to come out this red. I feel like this looks exactly like the hair wax low key. I think I'm going to put some perm rods in it and I'm going to see how I like that and how it looks. But I mean, it died. I mean, she's red. I don't mind the color. It's just like really... I think I've been shock. Okay. This is me now. I'm so dramatic, y'all. I'm sorry, but 
It's gonna take me a while to get used to it. I already know that. So I'm trying not to like cry. <laughs> you know how you dye your hair and then sometimes you hate it for the first five minutes and then you're like, okay, it's setting in. I don't hate it. I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's red. Like there's no going back. So I keep looking at it and I'm like, oh, this is kind of giving though, this little fro fro. I'm gonna style this and come back when it's styled. Okay, super quick story time. So after I filmed that, I ended up hating it. I didn't hate it necessarily. It was just like ruby red and I was going for a more demure red, something more understated. So where did I go? To the beauty supply store where they save lives. I went and picked up some hair dye. I went and got this mahogany color. Um, I had watched another girl's tutorial on basically how to fix red if you over color your hair. And go in, do this watercolor rinse with the hair. Which I was like, okay, cool, because I'm not looking to turn my hair brown. I just wanted it less red. The watercolor ended up tinting it a little bit, but it still was giving clown. It was just too red for me. And I don't mean to say this in an insulting way. It was just not the red I was going for. So I ended up buying two more bottles of this hair dye. And I just put that straight into my hair. I let it sit for about out five minutes and then I rinsed it out. I did this two times and then I finally got the color you see now. And I'm gonna put a little picture on the screen just to show you the color progression after each time. But I basically had to color correct and find the red that I wanted, but that's what happened. Okay. I am, we avoided a crisis people. We avoided a crisis. I'm, I'm gonna put, I think I'm just gonna add in a little excerpt clip of what actually happened, but yeah. That was insane. I mean, are you really dyeing your hair if you don't have at least one freak out moment? I ended up getting the color I like, thank God. And right now I'm about to take down, I just did some twist and then put some perm rods in. But I'm gonna take these down so we can see what the final color looks like. You know, it always looks different when it's wet, when it's blow dried, when it's styled. panicking to loving the color it matches pretty well with my clip-ins my curly clip-ins i think the color turned out really cute it's exactly what i was going for i'm in my red era i'm in my bad gal riri era i'm gonna list all the products i use down below and yeah follow me guys because i can't wait to style this hair i'll see you in my next video bye